What's up, YouTube? I'm giving my halftime report for the Alabama versus Texas A&M game. Uh, Texas A&M is up right now, 17 to 10. Uh, Alabama uh, started out pretty good as far as passing the ball down the field. Jalen Miro hit uh, Jermaine Burton a couple times. Uh, he's having a great game, uh, but Jalen's uh, still having problems. You know, throwing the ball away, taking sacks, unnecessary sacks. Um, you can't win the game like this, you know. Alabama uh, hasn't been effective running the ball, but we really haven't really tried to run it for real. And uh, I'm going to just read off the stats, but uh, Texas A&M is moving the ball down the field as well. Uh, they're doing a phenomenal job. Uh, defense, like I said, I think they got like four sacks already. Um, yeah, they have four sacks already. The old line is just not playing well. They're not, uh, we're not able to run the ball. But I think that's because of the couple of attempts that we had. But um, we only had 10 carries so far versus Texas A&M. They have 20 carries for 52 yards. Alabama has 10 carries for a negative 13 yards. Alabama can't win the game like this, uh, just trying to just basically pass the ball down the field. we got to be able to run the ball. Uh, got to establish that so we won't be too predictable. But Max Johnson, he's thrown for 151 yards. Uh, he has a touchdown. He threw it to... Uh, Le'Veon Moss, he was able to get the touchdown. Uh, he has 24 yards on the touchdown. So uh, Alabama has to uh, buckle down defensively. You know, um, they're doing, in my opinion, they're doing a pretty good job for the most part. It just uh, we gave up a big play on special teams to get you know Texas A&M in a good position to score. And um, uh, Kool-Aid, in my opinion, they're attacking him. And uh, Kool-Aid's not really having a good game, in my opinion. You know. They keep throwing uh, to him, and um, he's getting beat. We definitely got to clean that up, you know, going forward. Uh, Alabama's holding them to 2.6 yards of carry. So even though Le'Veon Moss got that touchdown, Alabama's doing a good job of uh, stopping the run for the most part. But Alabama has to crank it up defensively and offensively if they want to win this matchup. Um, Moose Muhammad, he has 49 yards. You know, receiving, but he doesn't have a touchdown. The only person that got a touchdown was Jake Johnson with a 22, uh, 22 yards. Uh, Texas A&M has 151 yards receiving, so both sides of the ball got to step it up. You know, they, they got to step this game up. You know, um, Alabama definitely got to step it up. Jalen Miro has 161 yards passing. Uh, he has one touchdown. Chase McClellan only has two carries for seven yards. That's what I was saying. Alabama got to at least try to run the ball, you know, to keep Texas A&M honest on defense. Rodell, he only has three carries for four yards. So we, we got to get it, you know, going. But I said in my prediction that Alabama got to pass the ball. And Jermaine Burton has 106 yards so far. Doesn't have a touchdown, but he has 106 yards. Isaiah Bunn has 52 yards and a touchdown. So, Alabama has a total of 161 yards passing, and like I said, only negative 13 yards on the ground. So uh, we got to figure it out. We got to get it going, you know. Um, I mean, Kool-Aid, man, like I said, just having a bad game. I think he fumbled uh, on the punt return. I uh, had a fumble. I don't know what's wrong with Kool-Aid. He, he's just not playing good right now, and they're attacking him. So, uh, attacking him. Alabama has to score. In this next half, they got to come out swinging. Uh, I think Texas A&M, I think they're going to have the ball. You know, if I'm not mistaken, I think, I, can't, I might be wrong on that. I think they get the ball uh, first thing in the half, but start the second half. But uh, Alabama got to tighten up both defensively and offensively. You got to get rid of the penalties. The penalties are killing Alabama right now. Uh, when we do something good, uh, we got another penalty. And it's guys... That shouldn't be getting penalties. Guys like J.C. Latham, you know, uh, Seth McLaughlin, uh, snap infraction, are like uncharacteristic, you know, penalties for Alabama. But uh, they have a chance to win this game, you know. But uh, if Texas A&M get up another score, I think it's going to be hard for Alabama to come back in this game because I don't know if Alabama's built to come from behind like this, you know. Coming to this matchup, Alabama defense is supposed to be elite. And – so far, they didn't gave up two touchdowns in the second quarter, second quarter alone. So uh, they can't allow Texas A&M to move up and down the field, you know, going forward, you know, in the second half. 
I'm going to see what Alabama does. Uh, Alabama got to continue to do what they're doing, uh, trying to pass the ball in our field, get rid of the penalties, and try to establish the run. You know, if they can do that, Alabama can win this matchup. But uh, it's a tough environment. We're going to see what Alabama does when they come back from the half. But Texas a and is doing a phenomenal job on their end. Uh, that's all I have. I'll definitely be back uh, at the end of the game to give you the results. Thanks for watching, and roll tide.